This is false. Although the vaccine for COVID-19 was developed quickly, the underlying technology of the vaccine has been in development for much longer. In fact, scientists have been studying the use of messenger RNA in vaccines for over 30 years. Once the COVID-19 virus emerged, they were able to apply years and years of this research to create a COVID vaccine. Furthermore, the regulatory review process to ensure vaccines are safe was not bypassed. This is false. Some vaccines work this way with dead viruses used to stimulate the body's immune response, but none of the COVID-19 vaccines do. Instead, they inject messenger RNA into the cells of the body to teach them to produce the exact same kind of spike proteins that occur on the coronavirus. This is false. The messenger RNA is absorbed by the cells, but it cannot penetrate the cell's nucleus and interact with its DNA. So the RNA does not and cannot alter the DNA in any way. The messenger RNA disintegrates once it's in the body for a short period of time, and the spike proteins are attacked by the immune system. So eventually, nothing from the vaccine is left behind. In fact, the messenger RNA breaks down so quickly, it has to be kept in very cold storage. It's true that several people who received the vaccine did faint or have other adverse reactions, but these can happen to a very small number of individuals receiving any vaccine. And it's worth pointing out that a number of stories of nurses fainting and then dying from the vaccine are circulating on social media, but all of them have been proven to be false. This is a qualified false. Let me explain. Generally, any side effects from a vaccine happen within weeks of vaccination, not years. It has now been several months since the trials for these vaccines came to an end, and the thousands of patients who received it were monitored very closely for any indication of long-term side effects. Furthermore, trials for a different vaccine made using messenger RNA occurred in 2015 and 2016, and no long-term adverse effects have occurred since. All drugs, including vaccines, continue to be monitored even after release to evaluate long-term safety and effectiveness once thousands and thousands of patients have received the drug, should any rare adverse effects occur or even unexpected benefits. This cannot be emphasized enough. Most people who get the vaccine will have minor or no side effects, while a few might feel sick for a day or two. Meanwhile, COVID-19 causes serious illness lasting many days or even weeks in a great number of those who contract it, and has now killed more than 350,000 Americans. On the other hand, to date, no one has died from this vaccine. People who had COVID-19 should get the vaccine after they've recovered. The vaccine trials included people who were previously infected with COVID and the vaccine was found to be safe for them. Because we do not know how long the antibodies will last after the infection, the vaccine can be beneficial in boosting a person's existing immunity. While we know the vaccine protects those who get it from getting seriously ill from the coronavirus, we don't yet know if it also prevents them from becoming asymptomatic carriers who could spread the virus to others. Therefore, it is important to continue wearing your mask, maintaining social distancing, washing your hands, and limiting contact with others until the spread of the virus is under control. So you need to mask up for everyone who has not been vaccinated yet.